channel. My name is Katherine Wiley and I'm the creator and designer behind Willow Waters Illustration. I'm an architectural designer turned custom illustrator. I specialize in custom home portraits, pet portraits, watercolor cacti illustrations, and watercolor florals. These are a few of the things that we'll be learning and I'm so excited to teach you guys more tips and tricks on how to improve your watercoloring techniques. Thanks for visiting! Katherine Wiley and this is Willow Waters Illustration. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all three tips for using watercolors. These tips are great for beginners and are things I wish I totally knew when I first started out. The first tip we're going to learn today in the technique is wet on wet watercolor. This is the most simple technique. This is the the number one technique for all beginners. This is the technique that is the most forgiving and it's, it's just like it sounds, wet on wet. You get your page wet first, you pick the color, and you simply just paint it on there. And you can see the water starts to spread the pigment immediately. And that's how a lot of people achieve that really ethereal watercolor look that everybody likes. The second technique we're going to learn today is wet on dry. This is where you do not put any water on the page and you're just taking your wet paintbrush directly to the page. The paint will go on a lot darker. Now you have more control if you were going to be doing detail work. This is a great technique. My lines are pretty straight. This is definitely the, the more detail oriented technique when you're watercoloring. And now the last technique we're gonna go over is how to erase your watercolor in case you've made a mistake. Now, can you truly erase it? No, unfortunately not. But you can pretty much pick it up so close to having it where you can start basically over again. So, the technique for that is much easier to do on wet on wet than it is for the wet on dry. Now, what you do is you clean your paintbrush you dry it off really nice and dry and you take it over the water and you basically just pick it up. The paintbrush is dry so the bristles pick the pigment back off the page. So if I've done the wrong color, it's bled outside the lines, I realized I didn't want to do that that way, simply just pick it back up. Basically, it's erasing. You can't tell that it was there anymore. Especially if you go back over it. Believe me, we're the harshest critics on ourselves. Now, if we try the erase technique on the dry, it's already started to draw on the page. You're almost not gonna get it. The way to try and get the dry up is to add water back into it. I'm adding water back onto the dry lines. You dry your paintbrush and then you just go over it and you pick it back up. Now you can see this is actually working on this one because there was enough pigment for the water to saturate to pick back up. This little one, maybe not so much, but it still works if you wanted to make a line lighter, maybe you didn't mean to make something so dark. It's really, really great. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my three techniques for beginner watercolors. The wet on wet technique, which is the best for beginners. Wet on dry, which is great for detail work. And then the best trick of all, which is how to erase and pick up watercolor in case you've made any mistakes. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you guys next time.